We in Uptown New Harlem. Jack City. Man, man El Tigre, ya tu sabes. On the Harlem, you gonna see a lot of these. He tried to take it off. He tried to take it off. Ain't no hood block, bro. Popeyes right here. One of the most dangerous Popeyes in Harlem. Four or five games within a 10 block radius. It's getting a little dangerous. So if you watch Paid in Full, that first scene you see, you're gonna see Willie's Burger. A lot of famous people who come from 140. Max B, Cameron, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. You see the projects where they found the tiger rat. This is a school, but it's bars on the on the windows. Prison pipeline. It's really resembling uh we're definitely looking right now at a schoolyard, believe it or not. <laughs> Every time you get in this elevator, you gotta say a prayer, man. What's that noise? And if you get stuck in here, don't, don't expect nobody to come get you for a while. It's the famous park where they shot above the rim. My character, he had a little scuffle with Dwayne Martin. Alpo from page in full. That is in here, right here on 147. Yo, welcome to Harlem. All right. All right, what's up, guys? I'm out here. This is New York City. We out here in New York City, right in Uptown Harlem. This is where it's at in Harlem. We are uptown. A lot of legends come out of this area. I'm gonna give you guys the tour at night. We're gonna walk up and down. I'm gonna give you guys some fun facts. We're gonna talk about Dipset, Dame Dash, Paid in Full, Juice, Above the Rim, all that stuff. I'm gonna give you the whole tour of Uptown Sugar Harlem. Hill. <laughs> Sugar Hill and all that. So, like I said, we in Uptown New Harlem. New Jack City. A lot of, let me just introduce the guy man we got the guy here man, the man, man the El Tigre, ya tu Tigre. Sabe. <laughs> he's out here with me he gonna help me give you some history we grew up around these parts i'm gonna break down the whole gang culture project culture we're gonna walk past some i'm gonna show you what blocks we couldn't walk past when we was younger we had to go a different route but yeah like i said a lot of people see harlem and they think it's just one neighborhood but really it's like four or five harlem so right now we're on uptown west side harlem there's east side harlem downtown spanish harlem spanish harlem the hill up, up here sugar hill more downtown skrilla hill it's a bunch going on out here so look i'm gonna give you guys a tour live and direct from a native so we're gonna start over here we're gonna work our way downtown let's do it so when you come to harlem you're gonna see a lot of these man a lot of boots it's one right here we're gonna walk over there i'm gonna show you it's and another you one over he there to take it off and he tried to take it off sometimes they, they try to pry him off but it's just normal over here and the reason why the parking situation is horrible so you could get a trillion tickets out here and people don't want to pay them so sometimes they just leave their car parked and sometimes you get caught up so i'm gonna show you another one over there but yeah this is my neighborhood right now we on 148th street 149th street um so i grew up over here let me take you guys over here real quick uh, so right here is basically where i grew up at this is 148th street um so in between these blocks so right now actually i'm on the other block but i actually grew up on this block and it was a completely different block this whole block when i was growing up abandoned everything over here was just deserted um what happened was the city came in they just demolished everything and they moved us to the next block that was but gentrification <laughs> now we got dealing with a little gentrification. bit of gentrification out here we're gonna get into that but yeah man this is the neighborhood that I grew up in. But right now we about to head over here. This right here is Espinard Gardens, EG. So we about to go e check my friend. We about to go check my friend real quick. So EG, let's check baby. It out. Oh, wow. About to go on This ain't no hood vlog, bro. <laughs> this okay. ain't no hood vlog, man. Listen, que lo que? Minito. <laughs> so, yo, we got Minito, flow. Troy. We That's got me flow. and Mano. We got flow. So, me here, they're going to help me with this tour of Harlem. I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, we're going to show y'all Harlem, bro. everything going on now. Hey. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. So, our first stop at this Popeyes. We on 145th and 8th Avenue. Avenue. Look, this is a crazy spot right here. A little bit of paid in full history right here with Willie Burger. So if you watch paid in full, that first scene you see, you're gonna see Willie's Burger. This whole strip, 
used to be packed. Everybody, everywhere. It was a movie. So this Popeyes right here, one of the most dangerous Popeyes in Harlem. Let me explain. So basically up this hill, you got a gang OIG. Down this way, you got a gang TBO. Down this way, you got a gang Too Deep. Maybe seven blocks down, you got another gang called 40 Wolves. So you have four or five gangs within a 10 block radius. So this Popeyes right here, one of the most dangerous Popeyes out. But if you lived over here, you had to go to it. So this is our first stop in Harlem. Let me show you guys. All right, a little bit more Harlem history right there. You see it says Frederick Douglass Boulevard. If you ever in Harlem, I'm, just so you guys know, if you ever in Harlem and they on Frederick Douglass Boulevard, what do they say? What? It's 8th Avenue. It's 8th Avenue. Do not say you on Frederick Douglass. That's, that's mistake number one. Yeah. We do not call this Frederick Douglass Boulevard. We call this 8th Avenue. Some people call it 8th Ginston. But for the most part, you go on 8th Avenue. So we're going to walk to 40th. Now you got a lot of famous people who come from 140th. Max B, um, Cameron, that's May Stomping Ground, Dame. Everybody used to be around this block. Big L, of course. 139th, the danger zone, as they used to call it. But the more we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys that. But I just wanted to show you guys. Bro. Oh, we got here. We got a name. All right, guys. Hold on, we, we check back in. It's a little, it's getting a little dangerous. All right, guys, so right now I'm in front of Drew Hand Project. This is another big projects out here. Um, I got a lot of history in this projects. I used to have a babysitter who lived in this building. So Drew Hand Projects, probably the projects that I was in the most, it's big. It's like three, four blocks. Like that's Drew Hand Projects right across the street. One of my good friends live over there. Um, that block right there, I don't know if you guys can see it. That's Drew Hand Project and up here is Drew Hand Project too. So, we gonna walk over there. This is actually the projects where they found the tiger rat. Way back like in the 2000s, this was it, Drew Hamilton Projects. So again guys, this is 8th Avenue, 143rd, Drew Hand Project. Yo, where where Drew Hand Project start? 140, 141st? 142nd? 141st. 141st. It's like four or five. It's like four blocks of straight buildings. 141st to 144th. It's like four and I don't know if you guys can see that Long building blocks. right there. Long blocks. Huge projects really. Right there, right there. But yeah, fellas went to school way up town. 200. You should have got, got the classic one first, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they went to another school, but this is my school right here. I went here, and a lot of people could have criticized the school because they, they say it looked like a jail. Like, it got, it got jail bars on the window, and if you see the park, there's a park in the back. I'm not going to go over it because it's too cold, but it's a straight concrete park. It, li it literally do look like a jail cell now that I, now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, barely even one of those. So another thing, I don't know if you guys uh, I got some followers familiar with Loaded Lux, but on a good summer day, you will catch Loaded Lux working out right here, right here on 141st, 140. They used to battle on top of the roof, <laughs> and the loser would have to, to jump. jump. <laughs> <laughs> they used to be brave. <laughs> they used to battle on top of the roof, and the loser have to jump. That's what he said, man. So yeah, I seen Loaded Lux a couple times here. He and it's intense workouts. He be jumping rope. He be doing calisthenics. Hey, right, look, guys. So we walking down like I was explaining to you guys. I want to actually try to get a good video for you guys of the park and how it resembles a jail, a uh, prison yard. But it's a little dark out here. I don't know how well the camera's going to be able to pick it up. But like I said, you can see the bars on the. This is a school, but it's bars on the on the windows. But I'm gonna tell y'all, these public schools are the new <laughs> prison pipeline. <laughs> he said it the best, man. It's, it's really public schools are the prison pipeline. It's really resembling uh, it's looking prisonish. But let me show you guys Everywhere the, they keep you in the, box. the park. Look at the perimeter. <laughs> as a box. 
All right, guys, you're, you're definitely looking right now at a schoolyard, believe it or not. <laughs> this is a schoolyard. I mean, I'm sure they take the trash bin thing out over there, but basically it's just concrete. They got a little place set over there, but this is what you get. Public schools in New York, this is Harlem for you. They got the trash all out, man. It's crazy, it looks way smaller. I remember walking down this this alleyway. <laughs> I didn't know it looked so much like an alleyway. I got a lot of memories here, man. So basically, this is the big park. Um, this park is for, I, I, I wanna say, first grade to sixth grade, maybe even second grade to sixth grade. That, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a second park, like right where that gate is at, and that one is for uh, kindergarten and maybe first grade, but definitely kindergarten. So once you get to second grade, you get in a big park. All right, guys, so we on 140th. 140th, a legendary block. You got Max B, Cameron, a bunch of people out here. Right now, they got a couple activities going on out here, as you can see. Some people playing the, playing the Xbox, got the Netflix going on, combos, just a regular night out here. But I'm gonna show you guys more. We're gonna head down to Lennox. This is rare though. Cross your fingers. We this is six or seven. Fingers. The last one. You gotta really cross your fingers in here, guys. Every time you get in this elevator, you gotta say a prayer, man. Yeah. Yo, you, know, stuck. you know there's jails like this. Like yeah, this, yeah, the whole like jail. Sink right here, bro. <laughs> your chair right here, bro. Your bed right here. Yeah, if you get stuck in here, don't, don't expect nobody to come get you for a while. Nah, you gotta go. This is not. Nice. to the van. Listen, you're stuck in this elevator. It's not a priority to the fire department. No. <laughs> nobody is coming to get you anytime soon. You get stuck in here, you might as well break out a pillow. Cause what's that noise? That's um. Every time oh, I, <laughs> I thought it was done. <laughs> Jacket seven hundred dollars. Nah, all white jacket is a plane Word. ticket. It's your plane ticket and your check-in bag. You seen? Oh, for real? <laughs> you seen flea? You know what this? This is what's this? What this is? What is that? The bronze age, the silver age, the golden age. Where you get that from? Um, Twenty Fifth Street. Oh. Bro, I only wear emeralds. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my head off. <laughs> They're not trying to hit it. <laughs> Real hood. Oh, really? 
So right there used to be a fish market. Oh yeah, man. They knocked it over. But yeah. McDonald's, the franchise is still there. That McDonald's been there forever. Nobody's not changing that. It got updated, it got upgraded though. You see it, right? Yeah, it got upgraded. It wasn't it didn't look like that before. Here they came the Xbox. Was that bad box? All right, guys, before we keep going, I just want to let you guys know up this hill, um, there's another super popular block. You guys know New Jack City? It's maybe two, three avenues up. It's the scene they shot with G Money chased down Pookie. So that's a classic Harlem scene. So another hot spot, just so you guys know, New Jack City was shot up on this hill, two, three, four blocks away. Right the here, legendary. we got the infamous Big L. Rest in peace, Big L, man. Mm -hmm. So this is the Big L more If anybody want to check out, if you're a fan of Big L, you come to Harlem, you got to stop here. This is a Harlem legend, man. One of the greats in the game got taken way too soon. Mm -hmm. So let me show They're you guys. This is one. I mean, it's all, like, they all call this out. Look, guys. 39, 40, if they count a bunch of them together. But this is another legendary park, man. Any mm -hmm. summer day. Uh, this is where I work out at. People work out here, they play ball here. The old heads um, right here, listen to the music. Literally, this is one of the parks. If you're not from this block, you wanna you wanna be a little cautious coming in here. And uh, you know, maybe playing a ball, a game of ball, because it might turn to jail ball. Mm. And we gotta deal with that. So <laughs> just trying to look out for, but we're gonna head over to 135th Street and check in with one of my friends. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of Lennox. And don't ever go to that hospital with you. Right I'm going to show you guys you Harlem Hospital. Wound, you go there. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we headed to, to Harlem Hospital. Uh, there's a saying in Harlem, only go there for gunshot wounds and babies. That's what they say. It's only good for two things, gunshot wounds and giving birth. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that hospital. Again, if you guys know the Lux fan, what, what Lux said? Harlem Hello. Hospital? Harlem Hospital giving beds giving out. Bed out. <laughs> uh, we're going to show you Harlem Hospital. Fun fact, I was actually born in this hospital. Oh, so you're going to see where the... I that one. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> when we get to 135th, I'm going to show right you. I'm going to show you. Another fun fact a lot of people don't know. Malcolm X. I'm Malcolm X, my oh, bad. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King, Luther King oh, almost. Actually, actually he got, they took him here one time too, I think. For real? I, I think ain't so. know that one. Know, Martin Luther King got stabbed. Yeah, he he, got got, sad, he almost died. He got It came like, I think, nine, nine centimeters yeah. from his heart or something. He almost died at the Harlem Hospital. But saved his life. When um when um when they when Hold they on. marched in the movie, I know they marched up to the hospital. The hospital? I was Harlem Hospital. Oh, oh my bug, it was at Muhammad Ali. Shit, I don't know. Some they shit. definitely moved, marched to the hospital. I yeah, know what you're talking about. Yeah, but he was in both of them. He was in uh he was in the both movies. I think it was Malcolm X. I think it was Muhammad Ali, but he was in both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was Malcolm X. They marched to the Malcolm hospital Malcolm. and he was on his military. That was Denzel. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is this is like Harlem Hospital emergency room. So we're gonna see over there at Harlem Hospital, but a lot of stuff don't take place over there. That's the funny part. Over here, all is the where, action all the action emergency, Over here is actually a pediatrician. I went to that. I think it's called Ron Brown Pediatrician. Mm, oh look, boom, right there. <laughs> let me let me zoom in for you guys. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah. So it's uh Ron Brown. That's the pediatrician. Uh, John over there. Uh. The emergency room is there too, and they got this moral. This moral kind of new. Yeah. It can't be more than a, can't be more than ten, maybe ten years old. Yeah. Probably like ten years old. So uh, it's cool, but we we still heading down. there. Okay, so update. We got a. Uh, I think that's Duke Ellington. We got to update that Harlem Hospital. I don't know. Right now we got a man on Google. You get on Google to, 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 to settle this. He said it's the most hold black on, doctors on, hold on. Hey. in America at one single hospital. I don't think so. And I don't want any followers from Atlanta or Houston coming for me for putting out false information, for putting out fake news. So he going to figure this out. Or oh, you about to head to the actual hospital. All right, guys. So right now we're on 135th Street. So right here is actually an important building right here the songbird museum and library now if you're into the arts and the craft and all that good stuff you can come here and they always have exhibits they always have something going on it's a lot of a lot of activities you can get into so you want to check that out another fun fact right down this block they shot above the rim in the ymca in the ymca there's a uh 
There's a... I'm gonna let that cop go past. There's a scene over there in a YMCA. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it down below because I'm forgetting the scene, but it's a scene over there in a the YMCA. And you can kind of see it up top. You see that that light right there? It used to blink YMCA, but the lights went out and they changed it, so it's another fact. This whole spot got oh, set yeah, on fire. Oh, yeah, Pan Pan. Pan Pan, they had, you know, food there, and they just... Know my name and, and mysteriously case. burned down now. So a couple conspiracies going out there. A lot of stuff in Harlem supposedly burned down. And uh, real estate was put in its place. <laughs> and a bunch of people moved there, but yep, there's been a lot of fires in Harlem. Tupac up <laughs> up the rim. Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the famous park. If you guys remember, let me zoom in. This is Howard Bennett Playground. It's the famous park where they shot above the rim. So if you see, all, I, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Go. I'm not joking. Watch the watch the basketball scenes again when he played Bernie's. Uh, what's his, what, what's Bernie Mac? Bernie Mac. The bum. He plays him right there he in this park. Right here in this park. He and and the bum got mad that he beat that he beat him. Bernie, well, not the bum. Bernie Mac got mad that he beat him. Look closely. You're gonna see a supermarket in the back. That's the supermarket right there. I dare you. I double and the dare Kennedy you. Kennedy Center down the block. Where Kennedy Center. That was another place we used to go parties and everything. But I double dare you to go watch above the rim. And this is where, um, what was Tupac after name? Uh, Tupac character. He had a little scuffle with Dwayne Martin. I know that's the uh, actor name, but he had a he had a little scuffle. Um, and also the dude from Payton Full. So it, ha it happened right here in this park. I hope you guys can see it's dark out here. guys right now we're coming up on fifth avenue so guys remember i told you uh hold on let me switch the camera around guys so remember i told you there's an east side of harlem west side of harlem now me and the guys i with right here we all from the west side of harlem when i say you get to this avenue and you do not go any further this was a cutoff if you was from the west side of harlem you stop right here and it was like a border <laughs> If you go to the next block, you're in a whole different world. So, right here is Lincoln Projects. This Lincoln, right? What you This is Lincoln, right? There were scenes above the rim right there in that little pit basketball. Um, little center right there was more above the rim. But we're going to have to go check my friend who lives actually right here. So, let's do it. We going to his house. Look like this. This looks like old block. <laughs> so right now, what's this called? What's I forgot the name of this place. Royal Ten. Royal Ten. Emotion was in the first. Yeah, yeah, way more, way more. Nah, the ending was crazy too. Tell me, don't tell me. I'm leaving because I'm going away to college. Yo, two weeks late, I see her coming in, out this building. <laughs> she never went to college. Never went to college. <laughs> what she said? Then a year school. later, I saw her walking in, in Whole Foods. She, she like was... this, like I don't recognize her eyes, <laughs> like this. So I go to my man's. I'm like, yo, is that so and so? We're not gonna say her name. Yeah. She was like, yeah. He looked at me like. Like, like, like I was trying to take his girl. I was like, nah, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't bugging. 
all right guys so we are a little bit more down the block and right here is actually where alpo you guys might know him as um rico from paid in full movie was assassinated we're gonna call it assassinated i'm not sure how youtube wants me to put that but the infamous alpo everybody knows his story from paid in full he met his end here right here on 147 we on 147 guys so the block i showed you where i live where i grew up is right down here 148 street which is 147 street on a different avenue so i'm gonna put the pictures and everything so you guys can see it but yep right here 